If you're a veteran and you want to get the most money out of your VA benefits and the best deal when purchasing your next home, you're gonna to wanna to watch this. Hey, real quick, this channel is all about home buying strategies and mortgage strategies helping you build wealth. If that's something that you're into, I would consider subscribing. Sometimes the bad information pushes out a vet from using VA financing, and other times, bad information pushes in a veteran when they're just not yet eligible. In this video, I'll share five different myths surrounding VA loan options, helping you identify if a VA loan is right for you and your family. By the end of this video, you're gonna know more than your average banker, allowing you to have a little bit more flexibility in determining what are gonna be your VA options. So one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear has to do with uh, interest rates and credit. Now, VA loans are not credit score driven. So most veterans can have a 580, maybe even a 600 and still get qualified for a VA loan. As a matter of fact, VA itself is not the actual individual determining if someone is approved for a loan. However, for general conception, when it comes to a VA loan, you need to shop between lender and lender to identify what their overlays could be. Maybe a lender only goes down to a 620. Maybe they only go down to a 600. Do not get discouraged if you have a lower credit score and you speak to one lender, one bank, and they say, hey, we can't help you. There's always gonna be an option for our veteran. In addition to that, most individuals feel that government loans typically come with higher interest rates. And that's actually the opposite, especially when it comes to VA loans. VA loans provide some of the best mortgage rates out there compared to any other mortgage product that's out. Compared to conventional loans, compared to FHA loans, compared to USDA, VA sits at the top when it comes to mortgage rates. Another big misconception that I hear a lot is VA loan has no closing costs simply because VA offers 100% financing, but don't get that confused. The 100% financing eliminates any down payment that's needed from the veteran that does not take care of any closing costs. Closing costs can be in addition and it can be negotiated between a seller or a lender, but it's not to confuse that there are no closing costs. There are closing costs on every single mortgage transaction or at least real estate transaction for that matter. That being said, you want to make sure that you have the right amount of money saved and or you're doing the right program to help you absorb some of those costs. An example, down payment assistance. Down payment assistance can be combined with a VA loan. Now this is a big one when it comes to a termite inspection. Every single VA loan requires a termite inspection. It's actually called a WDO, wood destroying organism. And essentially they should want to make sure that there's no termites in the home and there's no little tiny critters that are chewing away at you know window uh, sills or baseboards or even uh, door frames for that matter and the misconception is who pays for this in today's market uh, the buyer typically pays for this can a seller pay for this yes but it is not required for the seller to pay for this so just a heads up you're going to need to have some additional cash set to the side to get this inspection done Typically, it can be done with a, a local uh, termite inspection company or pest control company, and it'll run anywhere between 100 bucks to maybe about $150. Uh, that being said, once that report is complete, it's very important that it is signed by you, the veteran. Most lenders will kick it back, if you will, if it's not signed, which ultimately causes delays. The fourth misconception that I hear a lot has to do with loan size. And I, I get it, loan sizes change from year to year, especially going into 2023. They're actually higher now. But when it comes to a VA loan, there is no loan limits. You see, before in the past, roughly around two to three years ago, loan limits were a thing that was uh, attached to VA loans. And that was based on conforming loan limits. And I won't dive into conforming, but what you need to know as a veteran is there is no loan limits. And the last misconception has to do with the fees that are associated with a VA loan. Every loan has different types of unique fees. When it comes to a VA loan, a VA funding fee is that unique item. This VA funding fee can either be paid out of pocket or it can be rolled into the loan. In most cases, it's rolled into the loan and it's part of the monthly payment. Now, keep this in mind, a seller can pay for this or a buyer can pay for this cash, meaning if they don't wanna finance it into the loan, they can pay for it separate. But did you know, if you are 10% or more disabled, or if you're a Purple Heart veteran, you are actually exempt from this funding fee. 
The funding fee is going to be different depending on how many times you use your VA loan. There's a first time usage and then there's a subsequent usage. I'll drop a cheat sheet for you, if you will, if you're considering using a VA loan and want to get an idea as far as how much that VA funding fee is going to be. And it's always going to be based on the loan amount. So if you found today's video helpful, please consider subscribing or even send this to a fellow veteran. I'm here to help. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.